Please don't make this video 20 minutes. Please don't make this video 20 minutes. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be talking about Serpent Eating the Ground from Bravely Default, otherwise known as the Leitmotif boss battle theme. So before we start listening to Serpent Eating the Ground, I want to familiarize myself with the four main motives that appear in this song. To start, we're going to go with You Are My Hope. Teases... Tizzes theme? Okay, I love that. That's amazing. Wind's Direction, Agnes' theme. Okay, I... That's beautiful. Baby Bird, Adia's theme. All right, and then Love's Vagrant, Ringabell's theme. Ah, the accordion. It warms my Italian heart. All right, now that I've sort of familiarized with myself with those four main motives, I want to see if I can spot them in Serpent Eating the Ground. This is chaos, right? This is the final boss theme. It's incredibly intense. So we start off with this. In a way that has this descending sadness to it. On the other hand, it almost feels like holy reverence as we like witness the boss for the first time. Classical singing chorus wise, every voice type is supporting the other. I actually believe that they may be in unison. I was listening to the Sopranos. There's this descending thing that's occurring. Feels like we are witness to the terror of the boss or the, even the majesty of the boss. And then we launch into this. The chorus there as an accent is really interesting to me because, it, well, first of all, it's badass, but it's a really cool way to double down on emphasizing the size of the boss and certainly the danger that the boss has. But I want to talk about two uh, musical gesture that's really fun. We had this thing called a sforzando, and a sforzando means that we we essentially we start off quiet and then we swell into the large notes and then we pull back. So it's like oh, that's a sforzando, and we just heard that quite a bit, and it gives this emphasis of like reaching out and grabbing and then pulling back. <laughs>
serpent eating the ground. I don't know if the boss is actually a serpent, but it, it almost feels like there's like the spiraling staircase happening here. <laughs> As we're like falling, 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 falling. It's almost like this thing is like attacking us from a high point and then it dives down and it like, it's crazy. I mean, this is absolutely insane. It's like, it could, it could be the coils of the snake as it tightens around us. Actually, just noticed that in the uh, trumpet, they also do it. I think that that is a du the duality of the fight. It's a, it's a battle. So we have the enemy and we have us, our characters, and then the the, the then the chorus says oh, back and forth. It's it's fun. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped there. I'll stop. Okay, so that's a gorgeous shift. For two minutes, we have this repeated bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba Now we have a shift. There's a quiet, there's a stillness almost. Almost like we're regrouping. And emotionally, the piano makes us feel a momentary sense of peace. Makes us feel like, okay, let's take a second. This is really tough. We're okay. We're okay. There's a delicacy in there that makes us give us maybe a moment of pause and it gives us this feeling of maybe even a little bit of quiet confidence. <laughs> Something to realize is that we've now shifted. This is no longer the boss's theme. This is our theme. This whole middle section here, this transition from that mayhem of the boss to this, to the piano, and then it almost feels like that may be Bravely Default's like main theme. There's a galvanization there, and there's a unifying. All right, team, let's square up, let's get focused, let's dive in. There's a real feeling of ability and a willingness to try. Interesting because this is sort of not nearly as repetitive as many JRPGs are musically. I would be inclined to say this is probably one of the best JRPG final boss themes outside of Dancing Mad and uh, One Winged Angel. It is it is on the same level as those, I believe. Granted, I haven't played every JRPG, but there's something really powerful about this, especially now as we move into the four hero light motives then, and we sort of, again, have a doubling down on that galvanization here. Here we go.
absolutely sick. I've heard this song a few times, and every time I'm sort of like just taken aback, and I'm like, ah, this is the I think this is one of those pieces that is absolutely a powerhouse final boss theme. It really elevates the sensation of fighting a final boss. A final boss where the stakes are absolutely at their highest as characters. We understand that when stakes are high, that's way more interesting for us as an audience. But also when you've spent 40, 50, 60, 70 hours with characters, or even longer, depending on the JRPG, you get this real feeling of life or death. And so to have light motifs ingrained into a piece that are respective of the characters that you're playing as, that is absolutely one of the most galvanizing, satisfying sensations that must exist for a person that's put so much time and energy and heard these light motifs over and over and over in a, in a game like Bravely Default, to then be fighting the final final boss where stakes are at their highest and you feel that those themes come to life in the music and you think oh my gosh we're gonna do this and there's hope and there's exuberance and there's excitement and there's this feeling of like yes let's get it and uh can't beat that serpent eating the ground it's awesome i'll talk to you in the next video